Hi, my name is Mike Scott, Industrial Product Manager at The Modal Shop, and this is the Series 686 Electronic Vibration Switch from IMI Sensors, the industrial division of PCB Piezotronics. And this product is an excellent replacement for the mechanical vibration switches often installed by original equipment manufacturers. In this video, I'm going to show you the functionality of the vibration switch by using our model 9100D portable vibration shaker table to trigger the alarm in the switch. I'm also going to showcase the time delay functionality in this device and in the last segment show you how it's programmed and how you can use the software to establish a baseline vibration level on your machinery where it's going to be installed. We have the model 686 electronic vibration switch mounted to the 9100D portable shaker table. The display of the shaker table shows that we're shaking at 0 0.40 inches per second peak at 1,800 cycles per minute. And now I'm going to increase the vibration level beyond our threshold. The threshold is 0 0.5 inches per second peak, and the vibration switch has been programmed with a six second time delay. So when I cross the threshold, we have to wait six seconds, and then the vibration switch should trigger our alarm. The best part about an electronic vibration switch, no more false trips due to shock events. As you can see, as we wait out our six second time delay, the impact event created by me striking the switch with this heavy wrench did not cause the vibration shutdown alarm to trigger. To connect the switch to the programming software, the first step is to use model 070A100 programming dongle. Connect that to the USB port on your computer. After that, open the PCBEE225 software and select 686 from the drop-down menu. You'll be prompted to connect a magnet to the side of the switch before pressing OK. I've used the magnet that's embedded in the clamp that comes with the programming kit. And then connect the two socket mill connector to the top of the switch on the other side of the dongle. And then you can hit the OK button on the software and it will read the uh, parameters in the vibration switch. So the status bar will tell you that the switch is being read and then the actual 686 settings will populate on the left hand side here in the grayed out section. The feature I wanted to show was the actual vibration measurement. Right now, 0 0.19 inches per second peak. I mentioned I still have the switch on the shaker and the shaker is set for 0 0.40 inches per second peak. So when I press the read parameters button, the actual vibration will be read from the switch. And this is very useful for obtaining a baseline vibration level in the mounting location in which you're going to install your switch so you can intelligently set the alarm threshold. And once that finishes, it populates in the bottom left of the programming software. As you can see, it read 0 0.43 inches per second peak. My known vibration created by the shaker table again is 0 0.40 inches per second peak. So the measurement was off by 0 0.03 inches per second peak, but still a very precise measurement. And now I have a baseline vibration level for the switch. I'll just walk you through some of the other basic settings. Here you see my alarm threshold. It was set for 0 0.51 inches per second peak. I mentioned 0 0.50 um, in the demonstration with the light. And the delay was set, as I mentioned, to six seconds. So our switch had to experience six seconds of vibration greater than 0 0.51 inches per second peak before it closed and turned on that spinning light. You can see that my relay contact was normally open and my switch was set to non-latching. So had the vibration decreased back below the alarm threshold by 3%, that's what hysteresis means, by 3%, the switch would have went back to the open state and the light would have turned off. So um, that's a great way to uh, make sure that vibration 
Uh, if it goes back to normal, the alarm turns off again. Of course, you can set this to latching as well if you don't want that to happen. And finally, I'll just mention it's sometimes difficult to connect the switch to a computer practically when you're out in the field and you have the switch mounted on your cooling tower. PCB does provide extension cables for that purpose, and I'd highly recommend the magnet that's in the clamp. Um, it allows you to connect to the programming software hands-free. Traditional mechanical vibration switches rely on a spring latch mechanism to trip, just like that. There's no precision with this device. The IMI Sensor's 686 electronic vibration switch has an accelerometer built inside, and as you can see, we tripped at the exact vibration threshold level that we programmed. We were also able to create a six second time delay so that a transient vibration event or a temporary shock doesn't cause our machinery to shut down. For more information about the 686 vibration switch, check out the PCB Piezotronics website. And for more information about model 9100D portable vibration shaker table, check out the Modal Shop website and our learning portal. Thanks for watching.